Right, well, hello everyone and welcome back to this play. We're starting on this screen because we had a suggestion that I quite liked. Da -da -da -da. For the name, Randomonium. There we go, that's better than Randomando. I just really should have taken more time to think about it. Right, let's head back and let's jump into our next game versus the Stubborn Sailors. Is this the Dark Elves team? No, the Dark Elves Welcome is the final. So this is the Pro Elf team? Ah oh, no, it's Old World Alliance. It's a uh, mix. It's a mix. Okay. Nothing to spice things up. Right. We have a wee bit of petty cash. Not that much petty cash though, but we've got enough. Uh, nothing really can afford this great. Let's get one of them each. Agency assistant coach and agency cheerleader. Yeah. Yeah, grouse. That'll be fun. Here we go, Jim. Here right. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right, let's swap you for the... Where's the guy with Claw? There he is. He's on the pitch. Mr. Claw, we're going to have to figure out how to get you used. We're going to stick you right up there. How on earth we're going to find a way to get you in melee with Claw every single turn? I do not know. Ah, oh, it's going to be a nightmare, but we're going to be doing it. You know we're going to be doing it. Right, let's uh, save this formation. Just as... Just, uh, da -da 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 -da. Confirm that. Right. Let's kick the ball there. Oh yeah, we've got someone with a kick, don't we? Kick produces the scatter. Choose the square which you want. Kick off lands and small. The swarming players. Yeah, yeah. I've got a kick. Sounds like kicks changed. Just one getting added, we'll stick you there. We rolled a one! The defenders have a chance to get into position to prepare their formations. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Oh, continue, not end turn. There we go. Right, this is going to be a pain, but we do have a claw to get through some dwarven armor. Well some dwarven <laughs> cans! We've got a claw to peel into those cans! Uh, dwarves, they often start off with tackle as well, don't they? I thought dwarves, is it? I know it's block that they often start off with. It's Tuesday that always starts off with tackle. Yeah, they pretty much often start off with block. Who is it that starts off? Is it Norska? Is that their thing? Was it? No, Norska. What is Norska's thing? It's like humans, but they start off with something. Amazons as humans would start off with dodge, isn't it? Ah, I can't remember off the top of my head. Two teams, Norse and Dwarves, two teams basically have only barely ever played. So. Nice, Dwarf down! Dwarf down! Right, we can't use Claw this turn because he's not in contact with anyone. Lovely. We're going to use this guy. We're going to throw some players in contact. Anyway, he was already getting a plus one from there, so we don't need any more than that. Lovely, lovely. I love adding my own sound effects. Oh, we know, we know. That's plus two. So that's going to be one die block for next turn. Unless we can find a way to get another die next turn. But that will be claw being used. Let's get you up there. You in there. Yeah, you there. 
Oh, we've got this little snottle in here. Yeah, what are we going to do with this little snottle in? Just there, yeah, just in case there's a push or something. That'll be a little plus one if there's a push. Surrounded by adversaries like that. I hope he knows what he's doing. Alright, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? I so badly want to find a way to get another plus one on this little snotlin to try and break into this 10 armor can. But yeah, we basically need three players to help this snotlin every single turn just to get his claw to work. Maybe we'll just leave it to be a last thing we do. He didn't follow. Okay, but we've still got him in contact with him. And they've already used the ball carrier, so that's good. And they've now used their blitz. Right, he doesn't have block. He's one of the few dwarves that don't have blocks. And we don't have dodge, though, so it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. That day my leaky nose is a bad squad. They need to fire the player that can't We'll leave that as the last thing we do. Okay, you can't stand up. That would be an okay start. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, you. You know, that was nearly a turnover. With Loner, I was a wee bit worried there. Here's the unmistakable sign of a player's eyes rolling up into his head. We've got people in the way. He'll be up for some time. The snotlin's in the road, he needs to move somewhere. Why is that too? He's got someone talking to him. He doesn't have anyone contacting him. Yeah, and he's got other people, so he's not been a plus one. Ah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it, but we're going to do it. I need to free up the other players. Go, snotlin, go. You know what? You're just going to stay put. It's too risky to follow. Oh, we didn't, after all that, we didn't even roll what we needed. But yeah, I really need to free up some players, so let's, uh, have a girl here. A prone player is a dead player. Often you pop there, then that should make this a nice, there we go, this is what we wanted. If the player remains very quiet. I'll choose that one, because I'd rather stay where I am. Better odds of picking up the ball. But there we go, it's landed there. We can't get all the way there. Hmm. Oh, that's what he's still thinking because of the blitz. Did I just do that? Yeah, I think we do that. It's a lot of dice rolls, but... And... It's not worth a reroll. We're going to end our turn now anyway. It would have, the only thing we had to worry about was him getting it. Like every other square, it wouldn't have went to him. But as long as it didn't go to that, a 1 in 9, it wasn't really worth the reroll, I don't think. It could have been a royal pain in the backside, but they had no players. If he had a way of getting a touchdown, I think maybe it wouldn't have been worth the risk. But I don't think he was really in a position to just get lucky and get a touchdown. Players a little short. Oh no, my mistake. And he's he's how on earth did that dwarf manage to pick up that ball? He must have had like two negatives or something. I wasn't paying attention. What did he roll? I wasn't paying attention. It was only a three plus to pick up the ball. I've seen some Take away one, it was only a negative one. Okay, so it's not too hard. You go there, you stand up. Now, we already got that as a two die block, so let's do it! Down he goes. Yes! And he's a dwarf as well! Sorry. I wouldn't want to be in that player's Brilliant! An armor value nine dwarf goal! That's questionable. Though we do have some half decent players here, like this Blitzer, who could really use some SPP. So if I move you there. Now let's see if we can free up this That's blitzer. quite a mismatch, Bob. I know. That weedy fella's gonna get flat. Oh, I'm excited, Jim. 
Right, I'd love to get this blitz or some SPP, so let's get him the ball and get him running. Oh, I forgot about him. There was a second dodge there. I thought we freed him up. We didn't quite free him up yet. We actually got pretty damn lucky there. Right, next turn. We should have lots of spare players to get him his claw on the go. But now we need some players up here. Oh, I didn't see him either. We're making more dodges than I realised. Let's try and get this ball carrier safe as possible. It's like, cause we're not going to be able to build a perfect cage, but just getting it half decent wouldn't be too bad. Come on, guys. Together. It's not worth the real. Oh, that's a good now, can they capitalize on this? We're going to keep that. Right, turn over. We got a spare goblin anyway. Oh, I can't believe this. So many fails. What is this? A blind halflings match or something? You have to use block to get him down so he doesn't get to follow to be in contact with the bulk carrier. That's good. They kissed the dirt. No, he was meant to use claw. He failed to get a snot then down. What a bunch of incompetent. If I had my way, I'd flog them all. Now, do I get the touchdown now, or do we try and get Claw working? Or, we could do this with a Snotland, that'd be a really good... That wouldn't be much of a risk. Ah, see, so we've got a chance here to injure a player. I wish Claw would work on an injury. I mean, on a foul. We're gonna need lots of players. He's fine. Move. To do what I want to do. And that's get claw on this guy! He's got armor value 9! Oh, too easy. No! You know what? I'm gonna reroll it. I really I spent that much invested in this little guy doing claw. We're giving him the reroll too. We broke the armor, but we would have broke it even without claw. And we got nothing. We got gratis. Natus. You know what? Let's just have a go here. KO. Better than nothing. We've got nothing else that's really a good odd of uh, injury, have we? So let's just go for the touchdown. Look, Bob. It's a touchdown. That team's apparel must have the magic sponge this time. Right. How many Snotlands do we get this day? Oh yeah, let's go there. Well, that was impressive. Opponents yeah, it looks like Kicks had a buff. Instead of it just reducing the amount it spreads, it looks like you get to choose the square it goes to. So Kick is slightly better than what I remember it. That has changed. So you choose there or there. I'm going to choose there. Oh, we only got one snot in the game? Maybe last time we were. Were? Well, maybe last time we were getting two Ds. What was this? Can be moved to different locations. I'm actually quite happy with where they are. So yeah, kick is slightly better than before, but still, it, it's subpar. It's still subpar. I think the good thing about this is it's gonna this team is gonna make me use skills I've never really would choose. So that should be quite fun. But our team value is going to be insane with subpar players because they're taking suboptimal things. Right. Is, how, is there a way to get multiple people? Yeah, there is. I know how we're going to do this. I know how we're going to do this. We're going to go like da, 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 da. I really should be going after the ball carrier. But we're not, we're going after the claw snarling! The assist gonna be enough to come out on Oh top. no! No! The snarling! And we did it first as well, it's the stupid thing to do first! But we did it first because we've gotten to, it's this little guy! 
We know it's stupid. I hope everyone realizes it's stupid to do it like that just did. At least, I'm pretty sure it's obvious to all use, but just in case any of these are new, don't do what I just did to you. It's fun though. Oh wait, oh, oh, oh we took an extra rush there. And we used our last rear on there, there we go. Again, that's me double clicking without checking. Again, I'm just talking about me doing stupid things. We took an unnecessary risk there, we got penalized for it. If I knew I was going to be hunting to roll a dice there, I wouldn't have done it. I would have just moved there, I wasn't paying attention, I clicked too fast. Again, making mistakes. It's the safer action. We deserved that turnover, especially after that horrific, like that terrible decision there. But you, it's, it's a decision that's so terrible, it's good. Not good as in that it's got good makes us more chance of winning. Good as in it's just so fun. It's so fun. Um, sometimes the stupid thing that is bad is the fun thing and they may get a touchdown here just because I made that did that or oh, that was a purpose mistake you could argue that was a mistake mistake so they like I'm gonna have to be careful they don't get a touchdown here right we're gonna blitz with you because you've got the best strength but let's uh, get some goblins down here first and foremost and you're scheming so you should have oh no Mistakes were made. I was thinking, no, the scheme will have plenty of range to get around there. The goblin should have went there. But thankfully, we've got a little extra snot line. Our little extra players coming into action here. I'd have rather pushed them this way. That still took up. Oh no! No! Don't pick it up. Please don't him pick it up. Good, we picked it up. Good, we needed a wee bit of luck there. We wasted all our rerolls on the snot line, and it's so making us pay for it. What is this? Ref, ref, ref! <laughs> oh, here comes the blitz. Oh, it's not on the ball carrier. I expect it to be on the ball carrier. That fans on their way just today. No, don't dodge! What? He dodged away from the snot line. Punch the other right. You know what? We're in. The, we're in. We're well and truly in doing the stupid stuff now. So I think we should continue on the stupid. It's a five plus pass. There's no way to make that pass show any better. Would it be better off making an extra going for it? And then that makes it a two. Yeah. I think that's slightly better statistically. Though we are rolling a whole extra dice. Yeah, come on! Come on! Come on! It didn't come ah. Oh no, where's the ball going? That's actually quite good for us. Oh, I didn't know he was on the floor. We should have picked him up. How the hell did he get. Oh, that was when we got the turnover. I'm having that much fun, I'm not playing properly at all and I love it. Like we didn't do that, we did another stupid like thing here, pass with a goblin. I suppose I should say something memorable. We're doing the risky fun stuff this level. This level, this match. I've seen some bad blood bowl matches in my time. And this is one of them. Oh yes, it most definitely is. Yeah, you can't get to the end zone anyway. Oh you could. He's our only hope of getting a touchdown. This is the last turn. We're going big or we're going home. Right, brilliant. Here's our last hope of getting a touchdown. Now, it all depends on how this blitz goes and where the ball lands. We've got no rerolls. We're not getting a touchdown this far. This, uh, this half. Well, we've already got one, but yeah, we're not getting another. Um, any injuries we could cause. We've got a potential block here and here, but it's going to need a lot of support to make it more in our favour. More in our flavour, and it's going to be easier to blitz him, but we don't have claw in him to...
We don't have claw or anything, so we're going to need to get extremely lucky if we want to injure them. Yeah, they don't have a turn to sustain it. Where's the claw guy? Where's the claw? Where's the claw? There he is. Get him out! The King Dazzler! And let's move you forward a wee bit. Let's just uh, do two there. Confirm. I think we're ready for that. Right, just one again. We've got one every single time. This is making me doubt the last game, where we got two every single time, and I thought that means we're definitely. To get into position to prepare their formations. Oh, nice! And he caught it. Perfection. All right. He probably should have been over there. They two probably should have been swapped, actually. Because we've only got one. I'm sitting thinking of defaulting him as he's got his 2 plus agility. Defaulting him to be in ball pickup duty. But he actually probably should be into slip into enemy territory duty. Let's rely on this guy. Then maybe build a goblin up to be like a sure hands. Then he can't pass. Maybe use a clan rat. And see if they can get pass or sure hands or something. Right, 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 right. right. I shouldn't be doing Blitz's blocks here. Yeah, I should be getting that ball nice and secure. But I'm trying to find out where would be our best bet to get this guy his Blitz off. Go get his Blitz off. This is really stupid to do. Oh, it's still just a one die. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, he was meant to... Mm -hmm. I fudged it. I fudged it. He was meant to go there. We were meant to use another player to stop him from being a plus one. Yeah, we fudged it. We fudged it. Uh, safety in numbers. Let's get some players over here. Try and keep the ball safe. Yeah, we can just bring this guy straight over. Because when he goes down... Oh, that's still just a one-day block. We mucked up a wee bit there. Yeah, we could do... Let's do that. Let's do that. It's a one-day block. Any action this player makes risks a Yay! Follow! Follow! Another player on the ground. The coach will be spitting teeth about this. But you know what? Let's forget about the blitz. Let's just make sure the ball carrier is nice and safe. A temerity, really. Good old dodge. Reward. Yeah, this is definitely a match of don't do as I do, unless you're planning to just have fun and not care about winning. Winning secondary. This match, I'm going for fun. I feel like that's going to be the theme of this team. If we want to play well, we do the other teams, like our Chaos team, or that team, or this team. This team's the fun team. And having the extra players helps us out with that a wee bit as well, so yeah. Right. Let's get that. Claw working! Come on. Come on, Claw. Claw works, but we didn't get good on the armor break. Now, this is where he doesn't need as many players, because we just used one, these players can still do something. If we get him down, the we can then move... That'll help a player move without risk. I was hoping to make a wee bit of a doorway for this guy to run through, but we ended up just clogging it up even more. 
We've not used our blitz yet, so you could be handy for that. Get you there. Let's blitz it through here. Get old and we're not gonna follow. Did that oh what one did I hit? What one did I hit? Oh good. Oh, I was hoping to get all the way up to like here. Is it worth the two rushes? Yeah, it's worth the two rushes to get there into that slightly better position. Now we really just gotta worry about him dodging away and attacking our ball carrier now. Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent of half his strength? Actually I should have done there, but oh well it doesn't matter, he'll be on the ground. If I I'd rather he wasn't in contact with the cage. I've seen lying on the field during my career. Well, I could start my own team. You only yeah, need it's a worth it. That's worth it. So even if he does come round now, even if he comes in from this angle, he's going to be a negative. At a negative. Maybe I should have left that guy the tight cage instead of the loose cage. And down he goes. This is the claw guy, isn't it? He just needs an extra plus one. Get the claw on the go. Oh no, wait, I've got my reroll, I've got my reroll. This little guy's gonna use all our rerolls for all the time, isn't he? Come on, injury, injury, injury! The dazzling king! Apparently, this one can't even put his own shoes on alone anymore. I like how the game was commenting on how much support I gave that snotlin. Can't even put his shoes on anymore, I'll teach you. That player is free. Find some ball to hit. Thinking about next turn. <laughs> Excuse me, one. Right, 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 right. Wah, wah, wah. I've seen mushrooms. Oh, we didn't use our blitz. One of them probably should have blitzed. And then that would have helped me get plus there if I'd got him down too. Oh well, mistakes were made. I was too busy thinking about pushing people off here next turn. And getting claw working next turn. Right, what's the AI gonna do? What's the AI gonna do? Stone. Yeah, God, really, no, really. No need to be like that. My life coach says I have a very deep and healthy baritone. That is that new? I think that was new. You know, this is the, one of the first times I've been actually looking off the pitch. I'm looking at the water. The water is. The water looks like it's moving too much to me. I guess it's meant to be like choppy water, and water would move that much, but just sun doesn't look right about it. You know what? I think I realise what it is that doesn't look right. When it's flowing up over this, it's not coming down off of it. You know what I mean? It would sort of like cling to it a wee bit, if you know what I mean. It wouldn't cling. Yeah, there when it does that, it looks like it's not interacting with the wood at all. It looks because it would come down off of it at like a slight angle compared to the rest. Slightly slower. It'd come down slightly slower off the bits that are touching it. And I think that's what's making it just look wrong there to me. But again, this is background. I'm not meant to be looking at it. I just spent 30 seconds doing that, wasting our time. Oh, I knew that these guys stood up. We're not getting claw. I'm almost tempted to do that. I probably should just get in touchdown now. We'll try here for an injury. Likes to be well assisted in a fight. I'll try. 
And we'll keep on pushing them in direct because we can get more on them if we don't get them down. No, I don't know why I was doing that when I already knew I was getting them down. That doesn't make much sense. You know, this guy will ruin the SVP more of him. And we can push him this way if we don't get him down. Hey, that place is almost caught up. KO. Better than nothing. It was a wee bit risky doing all that because this guy could have blitzed us, but still, we're in the lead. I'm in no rush. Right, I'm almost tempted to add a second little guy. Just so we get more than see if we get more than one. Because we've rolled one every single time. Whereas last time we rolled two every single time. Winning score have built up quite the lead. Is it too late for the other side to counter? One again! D3 swarming players. Why is it always one? Why? One every single time this game. We got two almost every time, single time last time. We've rolled a one or a two every single time. Quick and easy. Nothing to see here. Really, worst reward. Turnover. Let's get you there. You there. Start putting freight on that ball carrier. Right. Plus one. Plus two. Plus three. Stop in there, plus one. And claw! The single most important thing to do every turn. To like touchdowns secondary. Getting this guy more claw action. Yeah, <laughs> finally! It is a dwarf! Yes! Claw, what did he roll? Did he use his claw skill? What did he actually roll? He rolled a nine! And he had armor value ten, right? What one was it? It was this guy. Yeah, it was this guy here, the blocker. So Claw is what made him break the armor there. Thanks to Claw. Good, good, good little Snotling. Snotling killed a dwarf. Snotling, well, injured a dwarf. Snotling injured a dwarf. I'm happy now. Happy chappy. I'm happy chappy. Put more freight on the ball carrier. I suppose they could potentially get a pass off, but I'm not too worried about dwarfs. We'll easily be able to turn around and catch dwarfs, so we've got Skaven characters. But yeah, I probably should have left some players in towards the back just to react to a pass if they did, did try and do it. But we used up all our players over here, and it was worth it. It was worth it. Getting this guy the support he needs to get his claw every turn. What we really prayed for now is the uh, getting the strength skill. I really doubt Snotlin's even have strength skill access. But if we manage to get him mighty blow as well. Like I'm pretty sure it'll be greyed out. Snotlin's cannot take strength skills. I'm like 50% sure right now. That that's going to be a thing. But it'll be so worth it if he can. Right, right on the edge of the pitch. I was going to say, hopefully he stays there and we can push him off, but then the ball could land almost anywhere. That could be bad news if it's near this guy. We could have got really unlucky and they could have got a touchdown. I won't answer any questions about my company finances or the unfounded allegations against me. Well, whatever you say. Right, sorry Claw, but you're not getting activated this turn. We'll move you there so next turn you can be activated. Right, but for now, who's getting the blitz over here? You're the blitzer, aren't you? Yes, you are. And we're going to blitz here so we can push you there and keep this goblin in contact with you if you're still up. Yeah, you're still up. So we're going to surround you as much as possible. Make it as hard as possible for you to get out and get that pass over to your buddy. Actually, you should have went around that side so then this guy could have went... There without a rush. 
did that the wrong way around. And then this guy there. Ain't no way this ball's getting out of there. I want to minimize the chance because right now, him. The other thing we should do is get you down there. For if he somehow does still get that pass off. And you can get ready for next turn. You can just keep doing nothing, you big lumbering idiot. If only we could swap the claw player over here so he could start this off next turn. If only! Oh, 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 oh. Who's going? That guy stood up and then he's coming in here for a blitzy poo! The domino effect! Oh, seriously hurt? What was it? What is it? Oh, I was just missed next match. I don't care about that. We're going to leave that. Oh, wait, no, I used the apothecary. It looks like an X. Oh, no. What if the claw guy dies? What if the claw guy dies? That was a mistake. I hate when I auto do that. I've done it a few times. The X, it looks like a, the X, it looks like an X at the bottom. The bandage. So I just automatically think that that's the don't use. That is the apothecary button. Oh dear! I hope that player has. Uh, Does anyone else do that, or is that just a me thing? Because it's, it's, I've done it two or three times. I wonder if it's a me thing, or if it is something that people do. Right, yeah, I did actually quite a good job there of dismantling my anti cage. Count those teeth, Jim. They'll have to pick up both of them off the ground in a few seconds time. Don't you dare pick that up. I'll not reroll that, I'd rather have the reroll. I'd rather have the reroll, please keep bouncing that way. No, don't bounce to him. No, don't catch it. Oh phew. Right. Right, we need to try our best to free up this ball. Either way's a rush. Either way's a rush, it's not ideal. Oh, that sucks. This player should be brain transplant. Love for you to be able to pick up the ball, but I don't see how we're going to get this done. Without doing a one die block. Or a dodge. have to just give up on the prospect of picking it up this turn. That's quite a mess. Even Siege would struggle to end. Yeah, but then the force Oh wait, no, 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 oh, wait, he's marked. Ah, oh, by him, by him. I was wanting to push you away and then we could use that guy to blitz. We're gonna have to do the one die block. Oh good, we got lucky. Yeah, I guess we have one die blocks all the time. I don't like leading yeah, up to one die blocks. Nothing good comes from spending any time on the ground in this game. I'll do, don't get I'll do. On the floor again. This team must like worms or something. I will right, we'll go for the pickup. The ball is in the player's hands. Nice, 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 nice. We're just gonna head to here. He's going to make him suffer. Make him suffer. Alien beans! I would love to get Claw working here, but it's the one die block. We use that guy. Start bringing the Snotlands over. Right. Got one last chance to get a touchdown. We're probably going to want to pass the ball. Oh no, he's our guy with lots of movement and he's on the other side of the pitch and he's in contact with someone. Not ideal for being the recipient of a pass. I think he's our only person that can actually manage it though. So we need to clear up our ball carrier, get the pass off and then... 
go for a long, unlikely, so it's going to be really unlikely. What will they do? Just double, yeah, I don't think the Stalin would have range. Okay, there's been a pain. Without using him, how do we get the two down low? Yes. That would give us one of them. We can push him to there, hopefully get him down. Hopefully get him down! Around that yes! Player, like halflings around a sandwich. Get up. That makes things a lot easier. Now the is right, the next thing I'm going to do is really rescue, There's so I'm going to do this first. To say about this ball. Not a word, Jim. A sound. Now we- Oh, yes! And that's a dwarf, too. Some nice free SVP. We need SVP on this guy. Right, now here comes the really, really questionable bit. It's a 5-plus pass. We made it going for it. Still gonna be five plus. Still five plus. It's not worth them. I thought it would still be. Uh, let's go for it. It's a three plus catch. Oh, reroll, reroll. Keep the coach in the game. He did it. He did it. We just gotta make a dodge. Well, we're certainly right. hitting the violence quota today. Now, don't roll one again, because it's going to make me want to test that out again next time, having the two snot lens. We will choose there. One again! All right, next time I've got to test having the two. See if we get two every time again next game. Because last time we got two every single time. Statistically, that is very improbable. Uh, what are we doing this? Oh, we can move. Continue. Just continue. Alright, just take your last turn, game. I'm I'm tired now. I'm tired. That was an adrenaline game. What? Wait, what? He's holding the ball. Well, how did he get a turnover? How did he get turned over? It looked like he was holding the ball. I wasn't paying attention. Did he drop it? It somehow bounced back to his square and then he picked it up? Little goblin got man of the match. And I need to lie down. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Blitzer with 4 SPP. Yeah, he needs a primary skill, only needs that. So we could get a primary skill. We'll see what we roll with him. So he's got enough. We're going to do the roll. I know no one said any preferences, but I'm just going to use 2d4 here, and we'll go if I roll 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, with 7 and 8 being re-rolls. I rolled 4, so that's uh, 2, 3, 4. We don't have the SPP for that, so we're not getting him a skill. Right, you... Again, you need six. Okay, you're gonna need more SPP. And you've got five, right? Yep, so you don't have enough. That's for you. Wait, wait, wait. Just double check that last guy. I was looking at, yeah, I was looking at random. Very right, good. Whereas you now, if you roll two, or these ones, you'll be able to get a random skill. So let's see, let's roll. We got a six there, so that's two, three, four, five, six. A mutation, a random mutation for our floor here. Let's roll, and we got very long legs. Yay. Very long. 
long legs. Oh, I am regretting my decision to do this right now. Like at first I was like, oh this is fun, random skills, yeah this is gonna be great. <sighs> a claw on a snotlin and very long legs later. Oh, what am I doing? Right, this guy, he has the six or the three he needs. No pass in, so we'll do the same. Two, three, four, and this time this will be five instead of six for mutation. Right, I got four. So two, three, four. He's getting an agility skill. Sneaky get. You know, that's not too bad on a lineman. When I've got goblins, I've got goblins, so that's kind of sucks. Because the Skaven are still kind of really useful for me because they're the higher strength. And um, if I was going to be making like these types of things, this. If this was a normal Skaven team, that sneaky get would have been kind of a fun choice. It wouldn't have been too bad. We could work with it, we could use it, and we just have to make sure we always foul with this guy. But because we've got the Goblins and we've got the Snotlins as well, and Skaven are a more... The Skaven, any form of Skaven, is a more valuable resource to our team. Like, I feel like the sneaky get on him is not worth it now. Because there's this guy. This guy's kind of like a mini blitzer to our team just because he's got that strength three and he's got the higher movement yeah the movement seven he's like a mini blitzer for our team whereas he's a normal lineman for a skaven team so that kind of sucks we're not wanting to risk that guy with fouls right as for you you have four spp so if we roll a four or a five the reason we're starting at 2 here, in case this hadn't worked out, is because I'm using 2 dice, it's impossible for me to roll a 1. Right, we've got a 4, so that's 2, 3, 4. He's getting an agility skill. Confirm. Sneaky get! There we go, see that's not too bad. That's not too bad. This guy having sneaky get, not too bad. We can work, the sneaky get on a goblin works. Right, this guy's already got claw, so I'm guessing it's going to be 6 for him to get. Even the, this one. No, it's only 4 SPP if he wants that, but he only has 3, so yeah, he's not getting another... The Dazzling King is not getting another SPP yet. Another skill just yet. So yes, hope you have all enjoyed this. I have both loved it and hated it at the same time. I shall see you all next time. bye -zy bye Kill me now, please. Just kill me now.